Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye. Where this morning we're celebrating, we're having an Urban Games Day. We are all the games you can play outside. We've got uh, BMX's break dancers. We've got people on skateboards shooting across the studio. And me and Deck will be showing you our all Urban Games a little later on. Yes, we've got one coming up now where you have to combine the skills needed to ride your BMX bike, to uh, ride a skateboard, and to push a shopping trolley. Well, everybody has to do that sometimes. Yes, though, it's though. very difficult. I'll show I'll you what we've got to do. Here. we just got to get ready. I'll put my helmet on. We jump on our BMX's, then we go down the studio here, in and out of each of the cones. Then when we get to the bottom there, we jump on the skateboards, we skateboard back up here, and then we collect, collect our shopping trolleys. Well, in each one, we've got a celeb, and my celeb. Please welcome, she's just joined Hollyoaks, it's Sarah Vandenberg! <laughs> Oh, I am. We've got the deluxe range. It's a good on this. Yeah, it's a good. It's standard. It's fab. I think we're going to win. We have it. Who what? Have you got on? You're joking. No, because I've got none other than Sabrina from Fierce in my <laughs> shot. They don't stand a chance to the Sabrina. Nah, no. we're going to win. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to win. We're going to win. Who? Well, we got the race, but who are we going to get to start the race? Why, the delectable Katie, of course. Is Katie around? There she is. Oh, there she is. So angry to be playing games. Everything's up in the air, and I am Weasel. Face are back to play games and sing for us. He's got his crown back, his head swollen, but can he beat today's challenger? It's share and share alike on this week's clueless. At 11:30, we go live to Hockenheim for Formula One qualifying action for tomorrow's German Grand Prix. And at 1.30, yes, you heard us right, 1.30, we're back for a spectacular CDK that features specials on 911 and the Backstreet Boys. Oh, yeah. oh, what a show. Oh. That's a good show. We've got our Saturday morning squad with us. It's the Cooper School of Theatre and Dance. Get down, get down the street. Oh. Get down, get down that street. And we've got our cheerleaders. It's a very special day for the cheerleaders today. Is it? The British Cheerleading Championships are taking place in Norwich. Ooh. So good luck to everyone who's been on the show. But please welcome their LA Huskerettes. Get them! Also, names are here to play the Urban Games. Well, uh, we'll be playing Urban Games a little later on and helping us play those over Urban Games. Our next guest, but they're here to sing the new single, Groove Machine. It's Marvin and Tamara. <laughs> Check it. There. Brilliant stuff. Now then, me and Aunt, we're off on holiday next week. We are indeed. So last show we're off on holiday, so we thought we'd collect some holiday tips 
from all you viewers out there, what can we do while we're away? Yeah, what can we do? You let us know what we can do while we're on holiday. Or if you've got any games tips, let us know here down at the show. Yeah, or maybe you've got some holiday do's and don'ts. What should we take? What, what games can we play? What books should we read? Get all of your holiday things. Or maybe you just want to say hello to your friends and happy holiday. Give us an email. We're studio at smtvlive.co.uk. Or you can fax us all morning. 0207 737 Also, we'll be playing some more urban games this morning. We've got rollerblading on the show this morning. Oh, yeah. And we've also got BMX riding and skateboarding as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. We've got all that to come, but first up, it's the Angry Beavers, and to introduce them, we've got some real Angry Beavers. Let's bring on those beavers! <laughs> Beavers. And we're with us this morning. We've got Corey in the studio with us. Yeah. Give us a big wave. We've got Cheryl. Give us a big wave, Cheryl. Yeah. We've got Misha. Give us a big wave, Misha. Yeah. And we've got Big Bad Adam. Give us a wave, Big Bad Adam. Yeah. All right, then, you beavers. After three, I want you to see to see you get as angry as possible for as long as you possibly can. After one, two, three. Yeah. our urban games show today we've got everything we've got BMX and skateboarding, skateboarding and all that all that but we've got our own urban games here in the studio uh, and the first one is called the Can 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 <laughs> Hey how's that come taking a stub in the dark here but it's, is it a sort of Can Can with cans Yes, it is, yes. I suspect that it is. Yes, well, you suspect it, right. Because here we have lots of different cans all suspended at different heights. Now, what our can canners have to do is come on and kick the living daylights out of them, really. And we've also got our lovely cash can. There it is. <laughs> Don't tease me. Ooh, Don't tease me, woman. And look, look at that. It's full of lovely money. And if one of our celebrities kicks that, then they will win the money. It's as easy as that. Let's meet our can canners. It's Hollyoak, Sarah Vandenberg, and Marvin and Tamara. <laughs> Everybody, have a seat. Do you understand uh, how kind of we're gonna play can cannon? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Well, I'm just gonna explain a little bit more. I'll explain the rules. You sit there, hold tight. What our contestants have to do, they've got 15 seconds to basically can can and kick. Oh, hello. Kick as many cans as they can, and if they kick the cash can, they're playing in the big money round, big money round, big money round. There you are. <laughs> now, sounds easy, doesn't it, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Easy, easy game, easy urban game. Well, it's not, because the contestants have to do it with blindfolds on. Yeah. I think you just pop those on there. There you are. All right, Tech, over to you. Okay, then, Sarah, I think uh, you're going to go first. Okay. Blindfold on there, my dear. 15 yep. seconds. Step over here. Just a little bit, little bit closer there. There you go. You've got 15 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Away you go, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would say. She got round about a seven. About seven. Not about and I thought, did, you, did you notice the cash can? I don't know. Well, I couldn't hear the clip. No, you didn't. No, no. I'm afraid not. Seven. Seven for Sarah. Okay, secondly. Come on, tomorrow. Step on up. Are you ready? Pop Hello. your blindfold on no there. No peeking there. I'm not ready. <laughs> well, you're going to have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? You ready now? You got your... <laughs> okay. You got your blindfold. <laughs> you got your blindfold on there. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. You don't trust him at all, do you? Yeah, good, good, we've, got, we've got 15 seconds on the clock for you. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you ready? Ready, mate? Right, we're all going to play. <laughs> no, I'm sure no, no, honestly. 15 seconds on the clock, and away you go now. Here we go. <laughs> Cash oh, not the cash That's right. Take a well seat done. Tomorrow. I thought you had a bit of a stumble there. I thought you twisted your ankle or something. <laughs> Marvin, you ready, my friend? Yeah. Blindfold on. Ready? You ready, finished, dude? Uh huh. Are you ready for this? Okay. I've got a feeling he's really going to go up with this. <laughs> so 15 I. seconds on the clock. <laughs> ready? Can't catch. <laughs> Stop it, 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 stop it
Possessed! Stop it! We've had a good day, don't spoil it! All right. Right, uh, Marvin. He got about six Every can you kick three <laughs> times, oh, including a couple of roundhouses. And the cat can. There you are. Marvin's doing that. And thank you. Thank you to all of our cats. Hey, that was good. All of our the cats. can, can, can. What, what soul of idiot invented that game? This one. <laughs> That does explain it. Anyway, still to come on the show this morning, we've got I Am Weasel and more urban games. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back to SMTV Live. Time now for the very first and probably the last UK premiere of our stunning new game, Sounds of the City. Extremely keen contestants who are keenly wondering what they have to do to play Sounds in the City. We've got Aisha, Chantel, and Sabrina from Fierce, and uh, 10, possibly 12 feet from me is Ant McPartland, who is chomping at the bit to tell us how to play. Simple, Declan. What we're going to do is we're going to play a Sound of the City to contestant number one, who is Aisha, on the end there. She then has to verbally repeat that sound. Say, for example, it was a, a car horn, she'd go honk. And then, <laughs> and then we go to contestant number two. She will hear the sound of the city. She has to repeat the honk and the sound she heard and so on and so on and so on until two people are out and we have an ultimate winner. Thanks very much for that magnificently clear explanation to sounds of the city and thank you. Okay, we're going to start with you, Aisha. Okay, okay it's going to start now. All right. Good luck to all three of you. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> it's good enough for me. It's good, it's good. So then... <laughs> Come on, I'll tell you one. Woof, woof, woof. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, yeah. ding dong. Yeah. Right, let's go back. Let's go back to contestant number one, Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> um, beep. Woof, woof. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> <Looking good. laughs> I think it was a cat, it was a meow. <laughs> oh, it's all right, we'll let you it's off. It's all right, we'll let you off for that one. Go on, carry on. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> <laughs> What's that car in there? I tell you what, that dog's getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Meow! <laughs> 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 Good memory. Yeah. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. Meow. Can we go to accept that deck? We are going to accept that. Not for me. Can we contest it in the wall? Let's hear that noise. Um. Beep. Woof woof. Um. 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 Sorry, sorry, Aisha. If you'd like to step back there, we can. Okay. Uh, can we can carry on I'll with contestant yeah. number two. Try it now. Take it away. Come on. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna get out. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Meow! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, we got to accept that. No, we can't accept that. Sorry. You missed Big Ben, there you was missed... a big dong there, you missed it, you Can missed you it all. We have another winner, Serena <laughs> is the winner! And of course, you win the ultimate prize, which is a horn for a horn all the time, until your friends get annoyed. Thank you very much. And you're welcome. Very biro, but the biro bits fell out the bottom. But there, you can, <laughs> you can you, have you that. Can take that with you You can well. have the satisfaction of knowing you win, but I'm afraid you two are going to have to wheel off the sounds of the city board. In disgrace. In disgrace. You, you can be honking your horn away there, Sabrina. Go on, it's, get out. Go on, go on. See you later. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I am weasel. I am weasel. I am weasel. I am weasel. 
the laws of gravity and some other people playing with the laws of gravity are our um, people who we got in this morning, skateboarders, we've got the BMXers and breakdancers and they're all outside ready to thrill us. Let's take a look. <laughs> Some silky skills going on there, man. There, man. We like that. We do like that. We like that a lot. Thanks to those guys. And if that wasn't enough, here's what else is coming up on the Tears Fun Packed Show. <laughs> the Boxing Beavers, Bob to Lane Bleak in the Angry Beavers. Face are here to sing so long and play some more urban games. Who can stop us now as I've tasted victory? Ha! Another challenger faces defeat. Those valley girls are back. But what is Cher doing at Amber's house? It's clueless. We've got an exclusive screen of A1's latest video. At 11.30 we go live to Hockenheim for the qualifying rounds ahead of tomorrow's German Grand Prix. And we return at 1.30, yes you heard us, 1.30 for a spectacular CDK with two pop specials, the first feature in 911 and the second, the all-conquering Backstreet Boys, plus all the news and charts to make CDK more exciting than skiing in the news. We'll see you after the break. SMTV Live. It's a great show this morning. All urban games. Loads of urban games this morning. It's great stuff. But now, now it's time for the Angry Beavers. And then to introduce the Angry Beavers, we've got some real beavers. Let's bring up. No, a... no I, I've sent them home. <laughs> well, you what? I, I sent the beavers. So I thought we'd finish. I thought it was just one. one, one There's two beavers. We've got. What are we going to do? Well, you're going to have to do it. What? Be you, the beavers. You're going to have to do it. Get out. Uh, Coming now, we've got the Angry Beavers, and to introduce them, we've got an angry ant. Let's bring on the ant! Oh, angry ant! <laughs> okay, the ant gives a big wave to everybody at home there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and uh, after three, we want you to get as loud as, and as angry as you, is you and as positive as you can. You set them home, son. Right. Okay, are you ready? After yeah. one, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the angry beaver's there. And thanks to our beaver cubs who were angry. Uh, there you are, all of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, now, as we, now, me and Deck are off on our holidays next week, everybody. We're, we're not going to be here. We're not going to be here. But, but don't worry. Don't worry. Cat's back! Yeah! All right, all right, all right. All right, calm down. And, and she's not going to be on her own because helping her out uh, next week is going to be the lads from Westlife. They're going to be here. Oh, yeah. Westlife are going to be, they're going to be here in the studio. And right now we've got their brand new video to show to you. It's called uh, If I Let You Go. It's the follow-up to their smash hit number one, swear it all over again, and it's here just for you now. Hope you like it. Westlife, you like that video exclusive to our show. Good, it is a good mm, video. It's good, that. Then there. And that's the follow-up to their number one smash, swear it again, as opposed to swear it all over again, which my partner says as we went but into it. they say in the song, they go, and I swear it all over again. But the song is actually called... Swear it again. Fair enough. They'll be here with Kat next week to co-present SMTV Summer and to celebrate we've got a brilliant competition, haven't we? Yes, we have. Listen to this for a prize. How would you like to come down here to the SMTV Live studio, meet Westlife, but that's not all. They're then going to take you out to lunch, and that's not all, uh -huh. and then give you some Westlife goodies. Brilliant! That's a pretty good prize. That is, that is a good prize. Pretty good prize, don't you think? Well, you can enter, enter the competition if you can answer this question. Which Irish girl band had a number one hit with Cella V? <gasps> you can't answer. You're not going to be here. You're on your holidays. Secondly, you have to complete this sentence. I deserve to meet Westlife because... I'm filling the blanks and we'll choose the best one and you could come down here and meet them and win all the goodies. Send it to, hey, I want to meet Westlife, like... <laughs> SMTV Live, PO Box 22122, London SE1 9GL. Or fax us on 027 737 8393. Or email, you can email, that's another option. Studio at smtvlive.co.uk. Thanks for all those options, Andy. You say it's best to it? keep your options open. Exactly. After, after, after the break, we've got uh, the Titanic life and death struggle of Challenge Ant. Oh, good. It's gripping the circuit sequel. And, of course, the winner of our party on a board competition uh, and part one of Clueless. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to SMTV Live. Now, 
in a few minutes and will be taking the challenge in that terrifying battle of wits we know as Challenge Ant. Have you uh, got your thinking cap on there, Ant? I have indeed, Dick. I'm ready to go. I'll take it off. It looks stupid. Uh, here with their new single, So Long. Please welcome live in the studio, Fierce! <laughs> Welcome to Challenge Ant, a part of the show where we find out if Ant is crowned king of common knowledge or just a dopey old dunce. The rules are simple. A member of the public puts together ten questions, the answers to which they and all of their friends should know. They then get the opportunity to put those questions to Ant. If he gets more right than wrong, he's crowned king of common knowledge. But if the contender can confuse and confound him, then he's just the dopey old dunce we all thought he was. Let's meet last week's re-crowned king, the man himself, Mr. Ant McPartlin. <laughs> All right there. Boys back in town, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. yeah, the crown's looking good. It is, isn't it? We like that. Thanks. Let's meet uh, this week's contender. It's Oliver Old from New Altum. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Welcome, Oliver. How are you, sir? Fine. You well? Yeah. Good. You got your questions all sorted? Yeah. Yeah. You, did you have any help with them or have you done them all yourself? All myself. All your own work. Good yeah. luck to you, sir. Good luck to you. Uh, Ant, have to mention it again, I'm afraid, me old chum. Uh -huh. It's that old earpiece that's getting on me nerves. What? We've had letters again saying you could be cheating by having your earpiece No, I went there in square last week. Take it out. Oh, You've got right, to take it's it out. out. It's right, out it's again. out, okay? I wasn't on getting the questions in the ear, but it's out. Okay, okay. That's okay. what we want. That's what we want. Okay, then. Today, again, we're playing for the top ten albums. Uh, for every question Ant gets wrong, Oliver, you'll get an album. Do you understand? Yep. Good stuff. But it's not as easy as that, because we've asked Oliver to prepare a killer question. <laughs> At the end of his ten questions, he can decide whether he wants to gamble everything he's won so far on the killer question. If Ant fails to answer it correctly, then Oliver walks away with all ten albums plus today's star prize, the special MIDI Hi-Fi system. <laughs> but if Ant answers it correctly, Oliver goes home with absolutely nothing. Nothing. Prepared for that, Oliver? Ah. Prepared for that? Yeah. Well, those are the rules. Let's bring on those questions. We've got two uh, sets of questions, one for me, one for Oliver. How are you finding the new celebrity status, Ed? Not bad, thanks. I'm opening a supermarket tomorrow. Oh, so. yeah? Yeah, in Brentford. Oh, okay, thanks. Sure. Do you want to come? <laughs> I might pop down. All oh, right, great. Yeah, see you Yeah, see you, Ed. Take care. Bye, Ed. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Let's see. We're playing for... Uh, the first album we're playing for is Britney Spears. Let the question countdown yeah. begin, Oliver. What is a slam? Isn't it when you put a basketball into a hoop or a bottle of pop? I'm sorry, Ant, that's a slam dunk, a basketball. Uh -huh. uh, that's actually a term for when you fall off your skateboard. Oh, right. So that's uh, one little Oliver straight away. Second up, we're playing for Destiny's Child. What is Easties? What is what? What is Easties? Easties. Easties. Something for cold sores? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> It's actually slang for EastEnders. Oh, right, right. That's two, eh? Two nil. Storming into the lead there, Oliver. Thirdly, we're playing for the Chemical Brothers. What computer game did Mario first appear in? Super Mario World? Oh, no! Donkey Kong! Oh, Donkey I'm sorry, Kong. I have to accept your first answer. Donkey Kong? I'm not bothered. It is Donkey Kong, oh. but I'm not bothered. That's three to Oliver. He's storming only three ahead. Uh, we're playing for Jamiroquai. What new soft drink claims in its adverts that it is made of milk? Ravella. It's correct. Oh, well yeah. done. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> That's, uh, that's 3 1. Still to Oliver. We're playing for the Benga Boys. Who is Joey McIntyre? He he's an ex member of New Kids on the Block. That's correct. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. That's uh, 3 2. We're playing for ABBA. We've had the PlayStation game Tomb Raider 1, but what number are they up to now? They're up to Tomb Raider 3. It's correct. Thank you very much, Jimmy. 
three. Oh, they're actually about to release two made of four in September. Well, so that it wasn't says the question. <laughs> that wasn't the question. <laughs> We're playing for uh, Whitney Houston. What or who is a Mr. Spot? Who is a Mr. Spock? Spot. Spot. Computer game. I'm sorry, no. It's a new ice lolly that everyone is crazy about at school. Ah. Oh. Sorry, Anne. It's it's four three. <laughs> four three. It's very <laughs> tight. Very very tight. Uh, we're playing for twin. What is a twisty? Ice lolly. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sorry, the competition isn't to answer the question beforehand. <laughs> it's actually to answer this question. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a move you do on your stunt bike. Oh, right. So five, three, Oliver steaming in at the lead. Uh, we're playing for Ricky Martin living the crazy life. Who did Manchester United sell Peter Schmeichel to? Oh, um, now, I don't know. Is it, is it Monaco? Did you go to Monaco? No, no I didn't know. Who was it? Sport and Lisbon. Five. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't mind losing that one. All right, OK, that's... Uh, that's that six, is that six or six, uh, six three? Six three to Oliver. Finally, we're playing for boys on. Name all the children in South Park. Oh, um, um, Stan, um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on up there? <laughs> a, a, a blank, they call it the business, you just go blank. All right. I dried love. Sorry, lovely, I dried. <laughs> that's it. Thought it was. Well, I that's seven, seven three. Oliver is absolutely beating them. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> It's like blank to blank. It's a lot harder when you're sitting here, you know. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oliver, there you are. All seven CDs there. Um, well done. You can take them home if you want. You can take them, have them, have fun with them. Or, or you, can, you can gamble it all. Have a minute to think about it. But what do you think you should do, everybody? Yeah. You've got to go for it. He's going to go for it, everybody. Yeah. Okay, then. Okay, Oliver. Take your time, be calm, and let's hear the killer question. <coughs> okay, Oliver. Name the actors who play the Mitchell brothers in EastEnders. Uh, Ross Kemp and Steve McFadden is correct! Oh, yeah! And, uh, well, commiserations of I have to take them away, I'm afraid. I'm sorry you go home with nothing, but thanks for a gallant try. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Well done, well done. And Challenge Ant takes a break now while you go off on holiday. <laughs> and recharge the brain, is it? Yeah, it is indeed, we'll Jack. See, we'll see you back for another round, hopefully in September with us. We will. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Ant. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Now it's time... For Clueless. South. Good stuff. Exciting. Put that deck. Do you remember? Do you remember what was that frenzy of excitement in Southampton last what week? What is this with you in Southampton? Remember the boat. Oh, the boat. Yes, that's right, the boat. You mean the competition to throw a party for one person and twenty-four of their friends? And Daniel Phillips won it, and he went down there. You are joking. And we took the camera and filmed everything he'd done on I... the Disney Wonder ship. I remember that. Shall we take a look at what he got up to? I'd love to. Well, let's have a look. Um, Daniel. Oh, Brings a tear to the eye, that. Well, it looks, like, uh, looks like Daniel obviously enjoyed himself and made himself more popular with 24 of his pals. Hey, hey, the most popular kid in town, actually. Still to come on this morning's show, we've got part two of Clueless. We've got more urban games and we've got our 911 and Backstreet Boys special in CD UK. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome, and indeed, once again, lastly, welcome to the game that gets down and dirty in an urban street game kind of way by rummaging through people's dustbins. But not ordinary dustbins, because dustbins contain three famous celebrities. But who are the celebrities? Well, that's for our panel to find out. So before we check out the bins, let's check out our panel. It's Sarah Van der Berg and Chantel hey! from Fierce, everybody! <laughs> Welcome, celebrity panel. How are you feeling? Fine. Are you pleased, nay, I'll rephrase that, thrilled to be on the very first uh, celebrity dump? Oh, it's an honour. 
<laughs> I, I, I mean, I would, for me, personally, it's the pinnacle of my career so far. Uh, do you okay. feel that this will be uh, up there it's, with it? Yeah, it's up there, definitely. Close mm. to our hearts. Nothing like a number one. No. 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 Or a number two. No. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it. Uh, over to uh, our resident bin man, Mr. Up McPartland, to explain the rules. <laughs> Thanks, Tech. Now, as it's the summer holidays, I have where I normally have in the summer holidays, standing next to bins. Yes, because in each of one of our three bins, in each of the bins, We've got a celebrity, and what they're going to do is hand out three clues, and our contestants have to guess the identity of the celebrity according to the three clues that they pass out to me. All right, now, the first clue is worth 150 points. That's if you get it on the first clue. Second clue is only worth 100 points, and the third clue is only worth 50 points. Now, if you think you know, you either honk your horns and rattle your rattles and shout, Celebrity Dump! Just like that. And basically, it's up to you. Do you want to guess straight away and go for the big points, or do you want to play it safe and wait till the end? Well, that's the dilemma of the dump. So, let's check the panel's equipment. Can we honk your horn and rattle rattle and shout celebrity dump? Give us a celebrity dump! Celebrity dump! We like that a lot. Okay then, if you're ready, panel, we're going to go over to bin number one for the celebrity to reveal themselves. Bin number one, okay, we've got a celebrity in here. Guess the identity. Okay, clue number one, please. What we got here? Let's take a good look. A heart-shaped clock. Panel, any, any, any ideas? Do you want to guess for a 150 points? If we guess, do we get another try after? Do they get another try after? They do indeed, yeah, but you they do. don't get 150 points. You know. uh, no, it means Pate nothing. Pate. No, you're going to put it on the Very sensible. Very okay. Sensible. <laughs> Shall we have clue number two? Clue number two, please. A candle. <gasps> uh <-huh. clears throat> Someone romantic. Do you think? Maybe. Do you think? Mm. Oh, I, th I thought, Chantel, I thought you were going to go... <laughs> but you didn't, you didn't go 100 for 100 points, Chantel! You held back, it's 100 points at stake, you could storm into the lead. Okay. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're going to move on. We're going to move on for clue number three. Clue number three, last clue. 50 points. No, but leave that! Oh, yes! Did it be damp? Is it Elton John? It is Elton yeah! John! So, uh, Elton, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to come down. And I, I know I, and you've just had the pacemaker fitted and everything. How are you feeling? You feel all right? Yeah. Fitting well? Yeah. You get to play tennis because I know you love tennis. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Back in your bin then, Elton. Thanks for playing <laughs> celebrity dumb. There's little, something a little bit wrong with his chin, I thought. <laughs> I don't know. A little bit true. Maybe a little that bit was. of surgery on that. Okay then. Well, it looks like uh, Chantel has raced into the lead on oh. 50 points. There you are. Okay, panel, it gets better. Bin number two, Ant. <laughs> Bin number two. Okay, can we have the first clue from uh, celebrity number two? Oh, there we are. It's a little small, so hold them up. Peg. peg. Clothes pegs. Mm. What do you think, panel? Mm. I'm not very good at this game. You're now. not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not happening. Yeah, play it, Yeah, play it, yeah. Okay. No, no one's guessing? Mm. All right. Yeah. Can we have clue number two, please? Oh, well, is, wh why isn't that a picture of Queen Victoria? I think For 100 points. And a peg. Oh, it's a really wild game. No. <laughs> celebrity Oh, Celebrity Dog. Yes. Okay, yes. now I've got that straight. Is it uh, Posh Spice? Mm, no, no, it's not. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and what was the pegs? What was the pegs, <laughs> really? <laughs> that the wedding, really, you know. <laughs> It's a good one. I'm, I'm tempted to give you points just for that, but uh, I'm afraid not. Uh, well, let's go for the last clue. <laughs> clue number three, 50 points. Yes. Celebrity dump, Mrs. Merton. <laughs> no, it's no. not Mrs. Merton. Let's have a review of the clues again. Okay. We've got Queen Victoria, yeah. a blonde wig, and, we've got... and some pegs. <laughs> Who has blonde hair and something to do oh, with... Oh, yes, oh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 Celebrity Dump. Yeah. Um, it will be the... Is it Peggy from EastEnders? It Peggy. is Peggy! <laughs> Peggy, Peggy, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to pop down and see us today. So, uh, how is those two wee scamps of sons of yours? OK. Yeah. <laughs> Get up your mischief. Yep. How's Grant's gym? Is, is that pulling in the business? Fine. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Back in your bin, thanks, Peggy. There you are. <laughs> she looks like she had a splitting headache holding her head like this. <laughs> oh, my head. 
<laughs> Ball my head. Because we took so long to in that bin for ages. <laughs> well, there we have it. It's thrilling. And I can see that uh, now Sarah has equalised. They're on 50 points each. 50 oh! points each. So it gets more and more tense here in the studio. We move on to bin number three, which is going to be the decider. And Okay, bin number three. Guess the identity of the celebrity. Clue number one, please. What we got here? Let's have a look. It's the eight-head map of Manchester. Oh, ooh, it's not a famous name, isn't that? Yeah. You're not gonna. No, no. Safe. no. Let's go. No. Safe. Let's move on. <clears throat> okay. Clue number two, please. <laughs> yes. Not really dumb. I'm going for a wild guess. Beckham. David Beckham. Yeah. Indeed it is. <laughs> Clue. Your last clue was going to be. Beckham, pass that last clue out there, please. <laughs> there you are. It's the wrong, you see? Because oh. you wore the wrong. A really big song. Beckham, so uh, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to pop down and see us here today. How's married life treating you? Okay. Yeah? What do you think about this whole dilemma of you dropping out the FA Cup this year? I mean, do you know, do you think that's bad for the fans or do you think it's probably best to go to Brazil and play that game? Go to Brazil and play that game. Oh, well, <laughs> thanks a lot, David Beckham. Back in your bin. <laughs> there you are. Thanks, thanks to all our celebrities for coming down. Well, if I just do a quick tot of, of the scores, I can see who's racing ahead on 150 points to 50. Miss Sarah Vandenberg is the winner. Thank you. And, of course, Sarah, you win... The satisfaction of going home and telling everybody later, I won this morning on the telly. They won't believe me, though. <laughs> no, they will. They will. They will. Oh, okay. Tell them you won celebrity dump and they... It's Who gonna, knows? Gonna, <laughs> gonna, they'll, be, they'll be really impressed, I'm sure. Thanks to our contestants. Thanks for our celebrities for playing celebrity dump. Thanks for you to watch it. But now, <laughs> let's take part in the second part of Clueless. Good night. <laughs> Talking of great stuff, how would you like to relive some of the finest moments of SMTV Live so far this year? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Would uh -huh. you like that? I'd love that. Would you like that? I would, because as you know, me and Jack are both going on our holidays later. <laughs> but don't despair, because the lovely Cat Deal is back! <laughs> so, all right, all right, That's all right. That. We know who your favourite is. <clears throat> uh, but so we thought... Why don't you relive some of the best moments? One of Kat's features will be, uh, what's it called again? Summer treats. Favourite bits of SMTV Live so far. And you can vote for your favourite bits all year. Perhaps, perhaps you'd like to see some of my Sabrina poems again. No, perhaps, perhaps no. Oh, perhaps, perhaps no. Shut up. You can, you can vote for anything you want. Just get it in here. Let, let's take a little uh, refresh of our head to find out what's going on in the series so far. You don't care less if you want to see some You're making your mind up. Push up, bro. Open it. You know you got it. Oh, Sabrina, will our love ever last? What if Dick ever finds out about us? He won't, and he won't. Naughty Austin! Naughty, naughty Austin! Is this television? You know you yes. Is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm just in the middle of something at the minute. I, I'm just. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Bumping in the biscuit tent! Love is in the air! Love is in the air! I'm buying the stamps, I'll see you later. Bye bye! We've had some laughs, haven't we? Some good times. Well, I hope that's jogged your memory, but uh, you don't, they don't have to be them clips. It can be any clips, any of your favourite clips from the last year. S uh, s send it to Summer Treats, SMTV Live, PO Box 22122, London, SE1, 9GL. You, know, you can fax us your favourite on 0207 737 8393 or email studio at smtvlive.co.uk. But now is a part and shot from us. Before we depart on our holidays, we've got the brand new A1 video for you, shot in the Bahamas. It's called Summertime of Our Lives. Enjoy <laughs> Thank you to A1 for a look at that video. Good video, that's good. Thanks like for that. that. Now, then, as you can see, we've left the studio. We've left the SMTV studio because, for the first time, 
in SMTV history, we're not handing straight to see the UK. No, we're not. We're generously given our air time to Martin Brundle and Murray Walker. Murray Walker enters the chicane. The chicane. Yeah, we're giving it to them because they've got live qualifying heats for the German Grand Prix tomorrow. Oh, but CDUK will be with you, but it'll be at 1.30 this afternoon. But what a CDUK. It's good this week. We've got two pop specials this week. We find out more about 911 than they've ever revealed before. And Kat goes backstage with the Backstreet Boys. Speaking of Kat, Kat will be back with you next week. She'll have Westlife helping her out all morning. Uh, plus all the top competitions, games, cartoons, Everything. clueless, Guests, all that stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. And don't forget to vote for your favourite bit of the series so far in our SMTV Live Summer Treats. Mm. You tell us your favourite bit by fax, email, ringing in or... Where uh, was it? Snail mail. Snail of course. Mail. <laughs> you tell us by that and we'll show it on the telly. Yes, indeed. Now then, we're off to find a comfy chair somewhere where we can watch the Grand Prix. But remember, CDK, 1.30. 1.30. two pop specials. Yes, we've got the competitions, the chart rundown and the number one. Hey, you, you know, know where, where it's at. at.